Hi there and welcome back to your request series. Judy had requested an anchor tutorial so that's exactly what we're going to do today. It's a very easy project as it only has two different colors and you're not going to need a whole bunch of yarn and all that jazz. It's just single strand cotton in two different colors. So this is a perfect beginner friendly project. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's get started. And don't forget to take a screenshot of today's project details. You're gonna need that. On a 12 inch wooden dowel, we're gonna attach all 21 cords using a lark's head knot. To tie a lark's head knot, you wanna fold your cord in half. And then with a loop end, you wanna place that behind your wooden dowel. And with the long tail ends, you wanna thread it through that loop and pull taut. Okay, so to read our grid pattern, each square represents a vertical double half hitch knot in that corresponding color. And we start working from the left and go all the way to the right. And we're gonna tie our knots around two of these cords. So grab a long strand of our working cord and we're gonna place it behind the first two sets of cords. And we're gonna tie our first vertical double half hitch knot. To do this, you make a loop on your right, and then with a long tail end, you wrap it behind and through that loop. Then to complete our knot, you wanna repeat the same thing. So make a loop on your right, wrap your long tail end around and through the loop. Cinch up your slack, and then you wanna push your knot all the way up to the top. Since your first knot always looks a little bit different than the rest of them, let's go ahead and do the second one together as well. And like I always say, if you're finding that I'm going too fast for you, you can always adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the end of this row and then I'll show you what to do for row two. All right, so for your second row, we're gonna work back in the opposite direction. Taking the same working cord that you were using, you wanna bring that behind your last set of two cords. And this time we're gonna make a loop on our left, wrap our tail end around and through the loop and repeat one more time. So essentially it's the exact same thing, but in reverse. Alrighty, so as you can see, I've jumped ahead a little ways. I've zigzagged my way all the way down right to where we need to switch out to a new color. Grab your long strand of new blue working cord and we're gonna attach it right next to our previous knot. And don't worry about our old working cord, you wanna lay that flat and just ignore it. Grab your blue cord and you wanna attach it just like we did at the very start of this project. Also, if you ever run out of length of your cord, this is the exact same way we're gonna attach a new piece. So slide your knot up to the top and carry on with your next blue knots. Now what we need to do is switch back to our white cord. So to do this, you wanna leave your blue working cord down and just ignore it like we did with the white. And then you wanna lift up all your filler cords. Then taking our previous white working cord, you wanna grab that and run it behind all of your filler cords. So it's running behind all your filler cords and is on top of your previous blue cords. Then you just wanna carry on tying your vertical double half hitch knots just the same as we were doing before. I find this method of running your cord behind the back of your work a lot less wasteful than if you were to snip it off and then reattach your cord later on, especially if you're switching out colors often. All right, so we're gonna work our way zigzagging all the way down to the bottom of our grid pattern. And then I'm gonna show you how to finish off the back. Flipping our work all the way around to the back side, we're gonna finish it off a little bit differently than I normally do. Snip off your excess cord, but leave a little bit of a tail end. And we're gonna hot glue that to the back. And yes, we're gonna do this for each of our loose ends. And then while we have our scissors out, we're gonna go ahead and trim up the bottom of our tapestry. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. And if you have a pattern request, feel free to drop it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. 
And if you've been eyeing up those mermaid tail keychains in the background like I know you have, I'll leave the link to that tutorial on the screen now and I'll see you over there.